Luke, Tom, and Nate here with the Catfish and Carp YouTube channel, and today we're doing a fishing challenge. I was on Facebook a little while ago, and I got an advertisement for Walmart.com, and it had some weird fishing gear on there. My interest was piqued. So I spent about a day going through the deepest, darkest bowels of Walmart.com, and I have found the weirdest fishing gear I can find, and I have purchased it. And we are going to see if we can catch fish with some of the weirdest crap you can find on Walmart's website. You guys ready to do this? Yeah! Without further ado, let me show you what I've purchased. Here's something that's so bizarre and shameful. I'm embarrassed I even bought this, but I did it for science, okay? This is a fish gripper. It's designed to be able to grab fish about the body, though I think you could grab them by the lip as well. So it's, it's for people who don't want to handle fish or bluegills or whatever, you can hold it in there. Nathan, you want to try this out? What is that, a fish gripper? Yeah. What do you think, you think you can pick up a fish with that? Yeah. Are you gonna go pinch your brother with it? Yeah. All right guys, here's something else I got at walmart.com. It's 22 pounds of shrimp pellets. Okay, so down in the Gulf of Mexico, when people are, are fishing for shrimp, they throw these down and the shrimp gather around these little pellets and then they throw a cast net over the shrimp and that's how you catch shrimp. Or you can put these in a shrimp pot and uh, get shrimp that way. I bet these would be an awesome catfish and carp bait. Check them out. See? There's pellets everywhere. Yeah, they got a strong smell to them. Lots of oil in these things. Using Pellets like this is a really popular way to catch catfish and carp over in Europe. So I, I've got this bag here and I took about half a dozen pellets and I drilled holes in them. And you can put these on a hair rig or you can even use these fake um, plastic pellets that are about the same color and size. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a bunch of these fish pellets and I'm gonna chuck them out here into the water. We're gonna come back later tonight and fish over them, see if we can't catch anything using fish pellets. All right, here's another weird Walmart product. This is a line cutting ring. Let's see how this sucker works here. It's got the very hypoallergenic Velcro. Very fashionable. I'm gonna put this on my middle finger here. And there you go, there's your line cutter. Little blades on either side. And you can just go quink and cut some line with it. And you get in a bar fight and somebody like tries to entangle you in a net and you can cut your way out. So, for all you gladiators out there, a nice little tip. All right, let's 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 see how this ring does here. Ooh, it's pretty sharp. I don't think I would ever wear this, but I might go and Velcro it to the rail of my boat, and then I can have something, you know, to cut line with, I guess. Got an idea, instead of wearing this ring, I'm gonna put it on my fishing rod. Put it right on the reel, so if I need to to change anything, it'll, it'll cut it. Of course, maybe this will just mean that my line will get snagged up in the middle of a fight and cut it off and I'll lose my fish. But I'm gonna experiment with it for a little while. Let's, let's see how that works. You know what this is? What, what? It's a plankton net. What's a plankton net? I'm not 100% sure, I'm not gonna lie. It's for catching microscopic little bugs called plankton. Shad and Asian carp and Baby bluegill, they, they eat plankton. See what happens when we try to catch some plankton. I'm gonna go ahead and put a rock in the bottom of it, kind of keep it open, let it sink. We're gonna see what happens. Yeah, I have no idea what I'm supposed to be catching with this. So I'm imagining small little bugs and stuff. But so far, all I've managed is some slime. Seems to me like this should be on the end of a long pole. That would be a lot more effective. Let me show you one of the weirdest things that caught my eye on walmart.com. This right here, okay? Check this out. Let's see if I can open it up without destroying it. This right here is it's a method feeder, okay, a spring coil method feeder. 
Okay, you use this to put pack baits around. I've seen plenty of spring coil method feeders before. Nothing weird there. But look at this. Underneath it is a net. Okay? It has literally like a two foot radius cast net with no lead. You put this on the end of a rod and fish with it. You fish it under a bobber apparently. I guess it's supposed to like fish get attracted to this and get tangled up in it. I'm, this blew my mind. Do you know how many people have asked me if you can catch gizzard shad on a rod and reel? And almost everyone says no. They, they feed on like microscopic little plankton and stuff like that. But what if, what if I could find something that would attract gizzard shad? Like panko breadcrumbs or dehydrated seaweed or something. And squish it around here and then when the shad school around it, they get caught in the net. So we're gonna go try this out. We're gonna see if we can catch a fish using no hooks, but just this net thing of a jiggy. So I've got my float with the quick change swivel and I've taken off the hook and I'm putting on this weird net contraption. And you know what? I'm gonna set my float super low because gosh darn it, this thing is the biggest snag magnet I have ever seen and I want to keep it far off the bottom. Got some of my infamous Jello Panko sweet corn mix. So there we go. Got this. And you can see what it's already done to my fishing reel. <laughs> Look at that. So we got that just sitting right there. We'll see what happens. There's a bunch of bluegill down there. We'll see maybe one of them will get snagged up. I actually saw my bobber go a little bit crazy there. There we go. Oh, look at this. We call it snapping turtle. Oh, jeez. We call it snapping turtle. <laughs> oh, look at this. It caught a little musk turtle. What's they, they bite. They bite. They can, yeah. He's trying to bite me. He's oh, trying. Oh, my goodness. He wants a piece of me. Musk turtle. Rah. All right, let's put it back. Before he bites any of us. Oh, look at this. Oh, he got away. We had one. I saw we it. Had a, we had a little bluegill in there. Oh, there he goes. You see, he's, he's moving a little bit. I'll tell you when. Oh, there he goes. Look at that. He's moving around. Oh. What turtle? Another turtle. Oh, oh I, it's my first turtle catch. Ah. Ah, I tried to buy my noodle. Ah. There, we got him out. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Ah. Hey, guys, come here. I caught one. Quick, where's my fish grippers? I can't handle this without my fi fish grippers. Can you tell the difference between? Hold up. There he is. Grip them with the fish grippers. I got you. You got it? Are you using the fish grippers? Yeah. yeah. Do you like those? Yeah. Yeah. Here, why don't you go put them back? It's yeah. really grippy. It's really grippy? Yeah. Super okay. grippy. There we go. So do you like the fish grippers? Yeah. Would you rather pick up a bluegill with your hands or use the fish grippers? Fish grippers. Why do you like the fish grippers? Because they are very grippy. Let me see your belt. Now, now you won't lose your fish grippers. Oh, oh look, I got one. <laughs> Whoa. You got fish grippers? Yeah. Come, Nate. Can you got the fish grippers? Yeah. Can you press I can? You got them? Yeah. Okay. Let's go ahead and put them back. Yeah. All right guys, we're gonna show you another weird thing here. Check this out. Uh, the battle. Look at this contraption. You put the chum inside the cage. You set the swivels on these little triggers and then a fish comes along and boink. It kind of sets the hook apparently. I bet this is for fishing for silver carp and big head carp. I think what this is designed to do is to self-set the hook a little bit so that you got a better chance of hooking the fish when fishing for silver carp and big head carp. I think that's what this is for. It looks like a sword. It does look like a sword. It totally looks like a sword. Look at this. Does that look like a sword? Yeah. It looks like a pirate sword. Oh, it should be a sword. But I think... You do that. It goes like this. You stab it in the ground, and then you put your rod in like this. Uh, 
Well, there we go. This is another rod holder. This is this funky rod holder. You put that in there, then tighten that up. And you adjust the angle with this thumb screw right here. That seems so overly complicated. So we got a handful of these shrimp pellets. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop this umbrella net down here on the bottom, throw some shrimp pellets on top of it and see if we can't catch some bait with this. We're gonna lower the umbrella net down. All right, I'm throwing some shrimp pellets on there. We're just gonna let that sit for a second. Oh, nothing. Oh, we got turtle. We yes. are turtle Let's catching it, fools. Look at this. All that Nate's gonna use is fish grippers. He's making a run for it. Hey, oh. <laughs> got him. Got him. <laughs> there he's off. Ooh, he's faster than a flying cheetah. So guys, we got the shrimp pellets out in the water. I say we go home, get some lunch, hang out with mama, and then come back at sundown and see if we can't catch a carp or catfish. What do you say? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Well, it's been about five, six hours, and uh, the sun's gonna set in about three hours. And I am going to go ahead and throw this thing out there. I've got two hair rigs with fake corn underneath it. And I am gonna put it under a bobber like so. Now I think what's supposed to happen is I'm supposed to unscrew the top of this and put the bait inside. So I, I think I unscrew this. I'm gonna drop all these little pieces. Hey bud. There we go. Okay. There we go. So we're gonna open this little basket and shove bait in there, through there, clean off the threads. This is the most complicated baiting system I have ever seen. Got it. Put some of this bait on the outside for good measure. All right, here goes nothing. Little, little pellet rig. Well, there we go. I've got the carp rig on a bobber over there. I've got the shrimp pellets uh, over there. Let's see what we can catch. I'm just sitting here waiting for a bite and I couldn't help but notice that my little boy's toes are sticking out of his jammies. We need to do something about that. Here, you sit right here. Let me see your jammies. Okay, there we go. Baby's first cutoffs. Whoa, whoa, hear that? Hear that, Jake? That strips some drag. What do you think? You got jammy cutoffs. Oh, oh yeah, there you go. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Run in the right direction. Come here. Here you go. Come here. Here. Come here. Here. There we go. Nice catfish. Nice big fat channel catfish. Look at that thing. He's pushing eight, nine pounds. Loved him some of those shrimp pellets. Oh. What do you think? Is that a big fish? Yeah! Yeah! That's huge! Yeah! You happy, Jake? There you go. That's okay. You like that, Jacob? Was that fun? Yeah. Fish? Yeah, Jacob said the word fish for the first time today. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see what we got here. Why are you doing that? All righty. Well, I didn't catch anything on this rig, but it's got my curiosity peaked. I definitely think this is for silver carp and big head carp. So if I ever get out uh, west and get to fish for those again, I might bring this rig along and see how it does. But this is definitely a squirrely little thing. 
That was a nice catfish, but it is a school night and we've got a lot of kids to get to bed. So we better wrap it up. Hopefully you guys like this video. If you wanna see more videos from the Catfish and Carp YouTube channel, don't forget to click subscribe. We put out new videos every Saturday morning and we are definitely gonna be doing some more fishing with that shrimp bait. I like that stuff. Anyway, have a great night.